First of all, I want to talk about your new your new track, Havana. Yeah. Which is literally just it is everywhere at the moment, isn't it? It's just blowing up. That's so cool. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. How are you finding the reception? Oh my god, it's it's amazing. I honestly I didn't expect it. Havana was kind of I always say this, but I feel like it's kind of like the defiant song, right? Because nobody thought that it would be a single. You know, they were like, no, it doesn't. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for radio. It's not whatever. So I didn't release it as a single initially, but mm. because of the reception, you know, it turned into a single and. You know, it's become a real highlight, like in my in my year as a solo artist. So, you know, it's funny. I actually had a listening party here in the UK. It was like the really early stages of mm. my album. A lot of the people there here in the UK liked Havana the best, oh, which I thought was really cool. Mm. And I was like, huh, because in the United States that wasn't really like the winner. And I heard it took like the longest to put together out of all your tracks. As yeah. Well. Why, do, why do you think that is? I don't know. I think it's because it was one of those songs that. For me, I write the best to like pop chord progressions. The pop ones are mm. a lot easier for me to come up with melodies to and a lot easier for me to write to. Okay. And um, yeah. these kinds of chord progressions like Havana or another song that I have called Inside Out that are more kind of Latin and a little bit more, it's harder for me to come up with melodies. Yeah. It was definitely a, a, a challenge, it was yeah. a hard one. Um, and I saw that Justin Bieber was listening to the track as yeah, well. Yeah, That must have been a bit mad. Oh my God, it was crazy. I posted a. Snapchat video of me crying and instantly regretted it. <laughs> I was like, no, were you actually you crying? crying? <laughs> um, I Love. was like, I was like tearing. Okay. But I just, I just, it's a new feeling for me to have yeah. other artists that whose music I love liking my music. I'm still like, oh my god, that's so cool, you know. And um, I guess because it's like a, it's like a love song to like your roots and your heritage, isn't it? For sure. And I think people love that. For sure. Is that that's what you wanted to get across, right, with the show? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I wanted to have a song called Havana, and I had that title in my notes for a really, really long time. I knew oh, I wanted wow. to make a song called Havana. So that's where it stemmed from. Yep. And um, my executive producer, Frank, his name is Frank Dukes, he played the beat. And I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. That's the song. And so, yeah, it's a combination of like a love letter to my heritage and kind of combining the kind of music I listened to growing up and the kind of music I listen to now. You worked with Pharrell in the end. Yeah. How did that come about then? I have no idea, but I'm so thankful to God that it did. <laughs> he just came along at the right time. Well, basically, he, I don't know how, but he was like, my manager, I remember my manager was like, oh, Pharrell, like, wants some studio time. And Sick. I was like, what? It was just. Crazy! I didn't even know that he knew me. I didn't even think right. that he knew who I was. Because I feel like a lot of the people, a lot of people in the beginning, were kind of surprised that I had things that I wanted to write about. And I think that people just thought that I would have people just like writing for me and mm. and stuff. And so I don't know. I I didn't expect him to want to work with me. It was just soaking up that energy was really really pretty inspiring. cool. Yeah. yeah. And I heard you like tricked him into doing some ad libs in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. How did that happen? So you know, in the first course, I was like, hey, yeah. Hey. He wanted me to do that because he thought it would be really cool. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. But you know, can you like sketch them out for me? Can you just do like a track? And so then I ended up keeping all of them. <laughs> there's just something about Pharrell's voice. He could just do anything. He could just be like, yeah. yeah. And it just, exactly. So true. And it just sounds so much cooler, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, anyway. I have not heard your, hey, go and do it for me. Hey! It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same, nothing you say was for well, but it still works. I messed him out because of Young Thug's part, but he did some really cool ones where he was like, skirt, 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 skirt. <laughs> I can't put off a skirt, skirt. I sound like a dying <laughs> duck. I'm like a dying, dying duck. Dying duck, that's the new one. Yeah, so. Amazing.